Okay, so welcome to the Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke. So, before I look at my trainer card, I should explain how I'm picking my starter. So, if I get a 1, 2, or 3 at the end of my trainer card, it's Bulbasaur. If I get a 4, 5, or 6, it's Charmander. And if I get a 7, 8, or 9, it's Squirtle. If I get a 0, it's up to me. So, let's see what I got. Uh, 3. So, yay, I get Bulbasaur. I get easy mode. Let's do this. If I'd gone zero, I was gonna pick Bulbasaur anyway, let's be honest, because Bulbasaur is kind of kind of the superior option. Um, first two gyms will go by easily. Oh, also, uh no, that is the wrong button. God damn it. Alright, uh let me just see. So I've accessed my bag. Let me just go into PC and see if the uh cheat code worked. I don't know if it did. Um I've heard it has some difficulties. I'm playing on 1.1 on the emulator version, so it might be a problem. Let me just see. Uh, withdraw item. No, it does not work. Hang on, we're gonna just quickly fix that. Okay, so let's see if it works now. I had to actually like reset the whole game and uh, reinstall the code. Not deposit, goddammit. Withdraw. Okay, there we go. Okay, so withdraw. So, do one first, and then this will change to 35. So, I don't know if there's a better way of doing this, but this is the code that I'm aware of. So, I'm like, I'm sitting here and I'm like, okay, this is not, this is not great. But, at the very least, this is going to give me a way to kind of cut through the grinding. Because, like, if I was playing this on my own time, I would be grinding. Like, don't get me wrong. But... I am quite literally doing my best here to just get this done as fast as possible because we don't want to be sitting here for like a full video while I grind, you know, we want to we want to get into the action, we want to do gym leaders, we want to do rival fights, we want to do all that cool shit. We don't want to sit here and watch me use rare kitten, like uh, watch me grind for like four hours because I did a session before this where I didn't use the rare candies code and yeah, I was grinding for like a good four hours. It was not fun. It was literally four grind videos and I, I just stopped it because I was like, no, this is not, nobody's going to watch this, all right? This is just me sitting here grinding forever. And I mean, I know people are going to be like, oh, you should grind on cam, but it's like, I'm going to go with the same thing that Pokemon Challenges says all the time during his Nuzlocke streams. There's no point. No respectable Nuzlocker is going to lose a Pokemon to grinding. Like, not ever. It just, it doesn't happen. You know? It's, so... Do, you know what? I think since I reset, I should honor it. Never mind, I still get Bulbasaur. Okay. <laughs> that, that's fine then. <laughs> I thought I was gonna have to be like, oh, I guess I have to go with Squirtle or Charmander, but... Nope, still got Bulbasaur. Okay. We're gonna name him Bulba Buddy. It's gonna be awesome. Good old Bulba Buddy. Yeah. No. Yes, Bulba Bud. No. <laughs> Bulba Bub. A Bub. Mm Bub. He just turns into Wolverine. He got Charmander. He got hard mode. I got easy mode. Joke's on him. So I should also talk about uh, what other rules I'm playing with. Obviously, they're all going to be in the description, but I am very clearly going to run shiny claws because I'd be stupid not to. I mean, if I get a shiny Pokemon for some reason, obviously I'm using that shit. Um, second thing I should mention, I am going to not count rival like the first rival battle as a game over if I lose Bulbasaur, because obviously you can just lose this to RNG and that's just stupid. Um, and then the final thing I should mention is no encounters will count until I actually get the Pokeballs, because that again, it's just stupid. That's just RNG. So, you know, I'm kind of glad that I'm running this clause because it looks like I'm about to fucking lose the fight. Okay, thank god. I outsped him every time. I wonder if I have a, uh, a speed nature. I need to check. I'm very curious. Well, considering how high my speed stat is, I'm gonna guess yes. So, if it's a nature that ruins my defense, I may actually have to just drop Bulbasaur like a hot potato at some point. Let me just see. This is really bad if this is uh, the case. Jolly. Oh, that is the worst nature for a Bulbasaur. <laughs> that is so bad. 
So that is speed minus uh, special attack, so that's really, really bad. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, well that, that kind of sucks, but... Oh, okay, we are off to a great start. We have a fucking Bulbasaur that can't use its special attack stat. I wonder, can I get the Palpat and, like, not the Palpat, town map now? Okay, no, I have to wait till I come back. So, normally I would not borrow with the town map, because I've talked about this before, but I think the town map's probably the most useless thing ever added to Pokemon. But, because we're Nuzlocking and I want to make sure I'm not catching multiple things on the same route, I am going to actually pick it up, because obviously it would be dumb not to. I'm not going to bother fighting this Rattata, I'm just going to, like, just fuck off and just go... Because, again, there's no point. We got the rare candies. There's really no point in watching me grind. Um, so, let's talk about encounters and what I'm hoping we get. And also, I need to discuss the elephant in the room me not using the perk system I used during the Brilliant Diamond Nuzlocke. But, first, let's talk about... I don't know why I came in here. I'm at full health. Uh, what I hope to get. So, I hope to get from the side route over there. A Mankey would be really good. Because I can catch Nidoran Mail on the route before Mount Moon. So that's not really a big problem. Um, and I also kind of hope to catch Pikachu. Because electric types are kind of scarce in Gen 1. And obviously it would be nice to kind of eliminate it from the pool. When we go to Power Plant later. Because that means I can catch Magnemite easier. Because obviously it's a Nuzlocke. And Magnemite is the best Pokemon in the entire game. Um... Steel types were way too OP pre, like, Gen 4 or 5. I can't remember which, like, Gen they got really bad in. I think it was 5, actually. Right, if I talk to this guy, I get a potion, right? It's part of a convenient chain. Yes, I know. Thank you. I will take the potion. Uh, let me just quickly... Uh, what was it? Right, options. Okay, so. Fast, set. Okay, so it carried over my, uh... Oh, wait. Sound. Stereo. I don't know why it was set to mono. That's bad. Alright. So, now we will go back. We will get the Pokeballs, and then I will start catching shit. Imagine if I saw, like, a shiny before I got the Pokeballs. That would be infuriating. Could you imagine? That would actually be goddamn bullshit. Alright, so let's go get our Pokeballs, and then we're gonna have to talk to Daisy to get the town map, and then after that, we are donezo. Yes, that's nice. Yes, I have your- I have your package. An old man wanted me to handle his package. Oh god, that sounds terrible. So I named the rival his canon name. Because I was thinking like, oh, who should I name him? But then I'm just like, nah, just name him the canon name, it's fine. I just want to get through this as fast as possible. Um, I also really, really would like to not have to worry about like losing Pokemon. Like losing Pokemon is something I would like to avoid only because it's more adding work. <laughs> That's how lazy I am. I don't want to fucking lose Pokemon. I don't want my Pokemon to die because it would mean more editing. Wow. What a great guy I am. Yes, I know. Just mashing through the text. Honestly, I could probably speed up the text, but... Obviously, we're skipping the story. We're not doing story. It's Nuzlocke. We want to just get through the game. Um, so, seeing as I'm skipping all the grinding... I think we'll probably be done this relatively quickly. Gen 1 is a very short game when you're not, like, grinding. So. Rocket hideouts are probably where I expect to lose most of my Pokemon, to be honest, though. Uh, you know what? Let's use one rare candy right now on our good friend Bulbasaur here. Well, Bulba Buddy. I gotta remember to call him by his name. Leech Seed, very nice. Uh, do I don't think I should get one more level. I'm worried about killing whatever I... Like, encounter, that'll be really bad. Okay, so what are we getting? We're getting Pidgey. Okay, fantastic. Level 2. Uh, do we kill it? Like, if I tackle, does it die? Fuck it. It lives! Fantastic. I could actually kill it via number, like, uh, random numbers, so we're just gonna eat a Pokeball at it, because I, I live in fear of accidentally killing things. I've done it so much in the past that I actually fear it. Okay, so we got a Pidgey. That's good. Pidgeot's not great, but until we can get Firo or like Dodrio, this is a fine enough solution. Well, uh, what do we name this thing? What do we name it? I don't know. 
We'll name it Placeholder, because that's honest. Perfect. Ah, <laughs> uh, fantastic. Placeholder. There we go. Placehold! <laughs> Wait, no. Placeholder. Give it the for alligator treatment. What nature does it have? Mild. That's not great, but... Actually, then again, Pidgeot does have surprisingly good special attack, if I remember correctly, so... That actually might not be too bad. I mean, defense doesn't matter anyway. Pidgeot's main thing is being fast, so... Not too much of a problem. Rattata. We'll just run away from it. It's fine. I actually kind of hope that if we do get a uh, Rattata, that it has guts, because... Runaway is okay. It's not terrible. Like, it's not awful, but... I would much rather have Guts, because Guts is just that good. Just keep leveling up. Level up my Pidgey. I'll just use this one stray rare candy. Sand attack. Okay, that's fine. Uh, just get up to like level 7. Just So the first level limit... Wait, what? Okay, I didn't mean to give it to Bulbasaur, but that's fine. So the first, I guess this rare candy, I just have it infinitely now. Okay, that's fine. It's just an unlimited use rare candy. Fantastic. So I really did not, I, I'm not going to sell these rare candies. Actually, I don't even know if I can in Gen 1, but... Um, so let's go heal, and then let's go up and see what we can catch. I'm hoping, hoping that it's a... Uh, Caterpie, so we can eliminate that from the capture pool and increase their chance of Pikachu. But knowing my luck, it's going to be a Weedle or a Rattata, which would not be great. I mean, Rattata would be good if it had Guts and an okay nature, but... If I get completely stat screwed, that's going to be... Oh god, we have to do the old man bit. Oh, fantastic. So, I'm not going to use Speed Up because I don't know if uh, Speed Up will fuck up the cheat code. I should talk about this. Um... I'm not completely aware of if that will be an issue or not. Oh man, a Weedle. Can we count this as the encounter? <laughs> Can I count this as captured if he catches it for me? Because <laughs> I'd really like to eliminate Weedle from the pool, if possible, because there's a lot of them in Viridian Forest. Uh, I would really like Pikachu. Actually, Weedle wouldn't be terrible, come to think of it, if we caught it on the next route. So I'm just thinking that, like, if it's eliminated from the loot pool, it wouldn't be terrible. Like, it wouldn't be the worst thing ever, come to think of it. Alright, let's see what we get on the first route. Well, second route, I suppose. We already got a Pidgey. I'm already discounting the Pidgey because it's just kind of bad, but... It's not that, like, Pidgeot's terrible, it's just more so there's so many better flying types. Okay, it's Rattata, but question of the century, does it have guts and does it have adamant nature? <laughs> Honestly, anything is good except for, uh, pretty much any nature is great except for Brave, or, like, any other nature at lower speed. Even if it had Hardy or something, wouldn't be terrible. Can you get in the goddamn ball? Get in the ball. Just, just get in there. Now, the other thing I could do is if it doesn't have guts or if it has a really bad nature, I could just stuff it in the PC and wait till we catch Raticate later because there are a few routes that actually do have Raticate on them. And if that's an option, that might be like what we go for. Uh, what do we name this thing? Ugh, oh, I'm terrible at names. Let's just name it like... I don't know. Let's name it Splurg. Yes, good, good Splurg. There. Okay, Slurg. Never mind. We forgot the P. That's fine. Uh, let's see. What nature you got? Gentle. Run away. Uh, gentle is. What? What is gentle nature, actually? I don't know. We're gonna sort anyway. It's useless. It, it literally fucking sucks. Don't care. I don't care for it. it. Not great nature, probably, and on top of that, didn't have guts, so we'll just yeet it into the box. Um, so, real quick, I want to talk about the Safari Zone rules, because I haven't kind of discussed this. So, 
Um, I think what we'll probably do, and this is the rule I run in Gen 3 as well, uh, is I typically have one Pokemon per area of the Safari Zone. Right, we also gotta make boxes for our dead Pokemon, so let me just, uh... Let's just name it Dead. So, I like to store my dead Pokemon instead of just releasing them. This is something I always do, because I like to keep track of like how many Pokemon I've gotten killed through stupidity. Uh, spectacular, I'm gonna heal up. So, we got one bad encounter. Let's see if we can get a good one from the side route. We'll probably get something not great. I actually forget what's on the side route. I know like, both the Nidorans and Mankey, but I think maybe uh, Spiro might also be there. I can't remember. Spiro would not be a terrible encounter, honestly. Firo is kind of great. Firo is, like, very, very good. I feel like people kind of underestimate just how good Spiro actually is. But, um... Pretty much all the flying types in Gen 1 are great, except for uh, Pidgeot. And even Pidgeot's not terrible, it's, like, kind of mid. It could be better, don't get me wrong. I definitely think, like, Pidgeot is the worst of the flying types in Gen 1, but... Not, not awful. Hey, that's a good encounter. Do I kill it though? That's the question, because I know Mikey's a little frail. Okay, he's fine. I could get away with a second hit, but he might uh, actually, I'm probably gonna have to. Okay, he didn't get crit, that's good. Okay, so now let's eat a ball at its head. I really should have bought more Pokeballs prior to this, especially if Mikey's not great capture rate. Oh boy. We got him. Never mind, it's fine. It's fine. We got monkey. Good monkey. Hopefully it's got okay stats because that would be really fucking sucky if it didn't. I mean, I guess the uh, the nature is going to be like important and honestly nothing else because I'm pretty sure both of Mankey's abilities, if it has two, are both great. Bashful, perfectly fine. Vital Spirit is fantastic. Okay, so we got pretty good encounters. I mean, not great. Definitely could have been more optimal, but Mankey is the best thing we could have gone from this route, because as far as I'm aware, you can't get on any error route. Uh, let me check the Pokedex, actually, see if I can. Uh, let's see. God, I swear this has the most fucking confusing Pokedex I've ever seen in a Pokemon game. It's like, would you like to sort by number, or like these six other things? Okay, so... It's actually on multiple routes. I always thought it was only Route 22, but I guess... Pretty much any route that has uh, Nidoran Mail on it probably has Mankey too. So hopefully we get Nidoran Mail. Nidoran Female's not terrible. The problem I have with it is it doesn't have the same offense. Like, both have relatively similar defense, so it's not like too important. Obviously Nidoqueen has better defense than Nidoking, but I would prefer Nidoking just for the extra damage, to be honest. Nidoqueen isn't terrible though. If we get Nidoran Female, that's not awful. It just isn't optimal. Um. And yeah, if we get Firo, I'm going to obviously drop Pidgey. Like, if we get Spiro, I mean, because Spiro is just better, like, inherently. Like, relatively similar speed, way more damage. Obviously, I mean, even, uh, I'm pretty sure Firo has a bit more bulk on it than, uh, like, Pidgeot does. Okay. Get the antidote. Now, hopefully we get Pikachu. That is, that is the optimal capture for this area, but... Oh, god damn it, we got the worst thing. Oh, uh, I want Caterpie or I want Pikachu, and instead we got this fucking thing. Okay. That's extremely disappointing. That is incredibly disappointing. I mean, I guess it'll be okay for Sabrina later, maybe, hopefully, I don't know. This is not, this is not ideal, honestly, it's like really bad. I wouldn't be against it breaking out of the ball, but odds are it's probably gonna get caught. Yep, yep. I'm gonna name it failure. I, I'm naming it failure, I don't care. You know what, no, we'll give it a proper name, but only because I have a fantastic pun planned. There it is. Beatrice. <laughs> Fuck, I'm depressing. Okay. First of all, we're gonna evolve the fucking thing, because I refuse to let it continue being the way that it is. 
There we go. Just keep... You know what? I'm gonna yeet these. Since I have unlimited rare candy. <laughs> Weird rare candy that just never... There we go. Okay, so now we got Kakuna. Kakuna Rattata. It means no worries. So, we're gonna get through the, the uh, Viridian Forest, and then... I think what we'll probably do for this video is we'll play up until we beat Brock, and then we'll call it a video, and then next video we'll do like Mount Moon and Misty. And I think we'll basically just do like one gym per video, unless there's like a rocket hideout we need to deal with, because obviously the rocket hideouts are going to be a whole video in of themselves, just because they're so long. Um, gonna add that out, I had to clear my throat. Uh, we are going to heal, and then we're going back into the woods. And we're going to beat up some children's pets because we're, you know, we're good human beings like that. Alright, so let's go heal, and then let's go deal with that, and then we'll obviously do Brock. So, I think maybe we'll do the path up to Mount Moon as well this video. Because I'm just thinking, if we save, like, all of Mount Moon for next video, that includes the path up to it, which will take a while. Uh, so the current level cap, which you can see on the screen, because the overlay is... 14 because Brock's Onyx is 14 so that's I should probably break down the rules of hardcore Nuzlocke for anyone who doesn't watch like Nuzlocke's normally um, hardcore Nuzlocke's have this rule of the level cap is the gym leader that you're facing next and if you've been all the gym leaders there's two different rules you can do for level cap uh, you can either do the maximum level of like the elite four Pokemon or you can do maximum level of the champion I typically do the champion rule because it just it seems fair enough and on top of that you have to remember that like you know you're not getting that much XP because your Pokemon are like super high leveled um, and typically the way you want to handle any like elite four member in terms of like nuzlocking is just to have one Pokemon that can sweep um, it's just kind of a general rule of thumb is to make sure that you have everything you need going in because obviously you don't get a second chance because Obviously, a party wipe is game over, so. Might want to increase my levels a bit more, because I just realized I'm only level 8, and some of the some of the bug catchers in here are going to be high enough level that could be a problem, so I might want to go up to, like, level 9 or level 10. Maybe level 10, actually. See how much XP I get from this. A good amount, so I'll get a level up from this. Oh, Caterpie, I wish I had gone you instead of Weedle. Weedle sucks so many dicks. Oh, Weedle's so bad. I wish I hadn't caught it. I really wish I hadn't caught it. That's, it sucks so much. Uh, I hate... I, it's not even like I hate Beedrill. If you saw my Pokemon tier list, like my Gen 1 tier list, I actually like Beedrill. The problem is it sucks for a Nuzlocke. Like, even against Sabrina, it's not that great, because, like, the problem with Sabrina is she uses Psychic types and it's part poison. Like, if they'd made it pure bug, or, like, if they'd made it bug flying, it wouldn't be that bad. But they made it, like, bug poison, so it's, like, it's not even really good against psychic types because of that. And obviously there's no real, like, dark types in Gen 1 because, you know, Gen 1. So that's, like, a whole other fucking can of worms. Yeah, not, not super happy about that. Alright, let's get everything up to level 10. And then that way. Vine Whip, there we go, that's our key for beating Brock. Oh shit, my rare candies are gone. Wait, so that one rare candy had unlimited uses until it didn't? Well, that's bullshit. <laughs> that's extreme bullshit, what the fuck is this? It had unlimited uses until suddenly it didn't. Okay, well I guess we're going back to grab more rare candies. After I yeeted my 999 of them. Great. Thank you, Gen 1. As always, you continue to amaze me with your glitches and problems. Let's just go down, let's just go grab our rare candies, and then we'll go back. But, uh, no, without the grinding, these videos are going to be much more reasonable, because, like, during the previous session, I had a whole video that was just grinding, and that was, like, that was when I said, no, this needs to stop. Like, that, that just became, like, unreasonable. Okay, let's just take my rare candies... Draw. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna have to do it this way because the air boy just gives me question mark. Oh, I should check my box. I just realized I might have a bad egg. I know it can, like, most of the time it'll spawn in your party, but let me just check. 
real fast. Let me check my party and make sure I don't have one. Okay, I don't have one there. Let's just make sure I don't have any bad eggs in my box. Any bad eggs? Am I good? I think I might be good. Don't want to jinx it, but... Yeah, I'm good. Okay, whew. That was, that was a little worrisome. I was like, oh, if I have a bad egg, that would be a bad time. But... So, I'm gonna ignore the, uh, the magic carp that's viable. So, there's two reasons for this. First of all, we're getting the old rod not long after we actually get that magic carp, so it's really not worth it. And the second thing is that magic carp will cancel out whatever is on the route. I should also talk about the fact that I'm gonna have to choose between Eevee and a casino Pokemon. And the thing is, that wouldn't be that crazy, but you have to remember that I can get Dratini from the casino. So, that's... That's definitely a choice I'm gonna have to make. Don't get me wrong, I don't think Eevee's that bad. Okay, so it seems like it gives me the rare candy, like the unlimited one, if I have these rare candies. Okay, that's... That's a weird cheat, but... That's a... Okay, nope, that rare candy was just there. Never mind. I don't... I don't understand this... This fucking code. It's so baffling to me. Okay, well... There we go. So you're level 10 now. So if I exceed the level of the uh, the gym, I actually can't use my Pokemon there, which kind of sucks, but... God, look at this Mankey's fucking, like, attack and speed. Holy shit. You gotta love Mankey. You gotta fucking love him. Holy shit, that is crazy. Also, like, I love how I just have, like, a weird harem for my Bulbasaur of just female Pokemon. Why am I catching only female Pokemon? Is that a result of the cheat code? Is it glitch in the game? Have I locked myself out of shiny mons now? I, I I always worry about using like codes like that. It's like, I locked myself out of a shiny because it's gonna glitch the game or something. Because I've had that before, believe me. I've used cheats in the past and sometimes they don't, uh... They don't work out the way you'd want them to. Okay, there we go. Wonderful, now we got Beedrill. Not that Beedrill's good, Beedrill's kind of shit, but... Again, I love Beedrill to death, but it kind of sucks for Nuzlocking. Because it's it's too slow to do anything is part of the problem. And then another aspect of the problem is just that, like, the typing is not great. Bug Poison is not fantastic. And even then, like, you're talking like Bug Poison, I would rather have Venomoth, because again, Venomoth is just fucking good. Venomoth actually does shit, which is great. Alright, so, uh, I think I should send Pidgey up front. That way I don't risk overleveling. On top of that, like, Pidgey's just gonna do well here, because bug types. And I mean, even if I overlevel it, it's not like it's gonna be fighting Brock anyway. Because bird versus rocks equals death. So, I, uh, I've gotten more work on my game done. And I can confidently say that there will probably be, probably, be a trailer up in July. Maybe. Hopefully. I don't know. Every time I do stuff, I run to other issues. <laughs> so I've gotten most of my animation work done, which is spectacular. That's great. But then I have to, like, I still have to uh, insert the animations and I have to, like, make the animations work properly. But that will take, like, maybe a day's work, which is not too bad. The worst problem is actually making the animations. That's that's where the time consumption comes in, but it's not too bad. It's of all the work I have to do, the animation work is like the least of it. The most of it is going to be making sure shit runs properly, which is always fun. Oh god. It's it's like always the worst aspect of any like game development is like making sure things run and don't screw each other over. Just ask the X to find devs. Which, at the time of recording this, still does not have a release date, even though they've done the beta. Although I, ex I kind of expect it to be in the first two weeks of May. I mean... Who knows, maybe by the time this video is going up, there'll be a release date. That'll be nice, actually. I really... I, I enjoyed the beta a lot. It has problems, obviously. There's some issues with it, but... I think the other problem with it was, like, it was just kind of clunky, because beta. You know? Alright, so use Gust, just keep killing these fucking Caterpie, because obviously why not? I can't remember, does, uh, 
Does Pidgey's moveset contain Quick Attack? I know Rattata's does. I don't know if Pidgey does. I hope so. Speed priority would be very nice. It's kind of like having Swift. Just, it's a convenience move. There we go. We're just gonna keep Pidgeying our way through this because honestly, I just don't see... I don't see the value of, like, using my air Pokemon here. God damn it, I went to the wrong side. Hello, Caterpie. Goodbye, Caterpie. Don't want to deal with you, I'm leaving. I bet you I'm gonna run to a Pikachu before I leave this fucking forest, just to taunt me. So far, not. I mean, that's good. I don't want to deal with, you know, looking at Pikachu I could have caught, instead got a fucking Weedle. I'm gonna be mad about that for the rest of the playthrough, and then I guarantee you when I don't want Pikachu in the power plant, that's what I'm gonna catch. Cause even Voltorb, like, I would actually rather have Voltorb just as, like, a suicide bomber. <laughs> Like, uh, Electrode's not terrible, don't get me wrong, because obviously, like, the speed stat on that thing is insane. But, you know, being having a suicide option is always nice, because it's like, oh, this thing's a problem, better use explosion, you know? It's always, like, a little bit of a convenience. Just use Gust, kill it again. Come on. A little bit faster. Unfortunately, that is the issue with the GBA era, the era Pokemon games. I wouldn't say era, but then I said era, era, which is not words. That is just nonsense speak. The problem with the GBA era and DS era Pokemon games is just that they have horrible, horrible pacing. Like, they're so goddamn slow. Like, this is what animation's off. My Metapod only knows one move, and that's Harden. I had to reference that meme, it was required by law. I was legally required to reference the Metapod meme, I'm sorry. It may or may not happen again. Okay, well that answers my quick attack question. That's good. Having Honestly, having speed priority is a big deal. I'm pretty sure also Pidgeot learns Swift by level. Or not Pidgeot, like the Pidgeot line, so that would be great to actually have. Can't remember if Swift actually has a TM in this game or not. Because Swift is good. I mean, obviously Shockwave is the single best one in Aerial Ace, but Swift is nice. Swift is very nice. All right, let's go up this way. Let's kill him. What's the hurry? Why is the rush? The rush is because you're in the way of me killing Brock. That is the rush. Mr. Weedleman. Gust. Kill it. Kill it, kill it, kill it. There we go. I give, you're good at this. I'm not good at this, you had a single Weedle. <laughs> you, you literally had, like, nothing of value. Not a single thing that could stand in my way. I've never noticed how blocky Weedle's eyes are, I don't like them. Very square. Okay, so... It is time to go beat up Brock and his shitty Pokemon. Uh, let me just... God damn it. The input lag is real. VBA has some serious input lag problems. I could probably, like, fix it, but honestly it would take so long that I just don't really feel like it. Okay, so let's level up to level 14. Except, uh, well, I guess Bulbasaur probably could. Oh, God damn it. Game. Your random rare candy duplications get on my nerves, game. Level 12. Rare candy, level 13. Nice. I actually don't know what Beedrill's moveset is. Hilariously enough, I don't know what it's, uh, or rather, learn set is. So this is the first time I've played, uh, Gen 3, Gen 1 in, I think, five years? It's been a long time. No, it can't be that long. Because I was playing this... Okay, no, so it's more like two years, now that I think about it. Because I actually remember, like, playing this on my, uh, my Retron 5, like, not that long ago, but... I played Emerald much more recently. Emerald I played, like, I think maybe two or three months ago. And, uh, I've played... Uh, I'm currently playing Black and White in my spare time. That's been something I've been doing, like, whenever I'm, like, editing a video, or, like, waiting for a video to render, I've been playing, uh... Pokemon Black, and I've actually caught two shinies because 
Pokemon Black has a higher, uh, and Pokemon White, they have a higher shiny catch rate than any other game in the series. I actually think the modern games have that too, but I could be wrong on that. I'm not really familiar with any of the games past uh, Gen 6. Because I kind of consider Gen 6 to be like the last good Pokemon games, and then after that is when the series kind of fell to shit. But even Gen 6 has a few cracks. Like, I'm not saying Gen 6 is perfect either, but it's definitely like the last Pokemon games I would consider to be good, air quotes. And then after that, I consider like Pokemon to kind of suck. But. And I mean, if people like the modern Pokemon games, more power to them, but I honestly, I can't stand them. I mean, I've tried multiple times to like just tolerate them, but I, I can't. So we're gonna buy a fuck ton of repels. I should mention this after we're uh, done the gym because I do not want to go through Mount Moon without repels. That would be horrible. That would actually be god awful. Okay, so uh, yeah, we got Bulbasaur up front. Fantastic. All right, let's fight this guy. He should have enough to maybe get me to level 14. And I know about the, uh, I should talk about this, I know about XP, like, uh, XP bar peaking, but my problem with it is, like, why impose the rule on yourself that you have to, like, you know, reach the gym leader cap if you're just gonna level up mid-battle anyway purposely? Like, just, I mean, if it happens, it happens, but I'm not going out of my way to do it. That would just be stupid. Like, I, I don't agree with it as a rule. I just think that it's kind of, it's kind of dumb. So, there is one other thing I should talk about in regards to Gen 1 through 3 before I forget. So, this was before the physical special split. So, all moves of a certain type are considered physical or special. So, for example, uh, all normal type moves are physical, while all grass type moves, for example, are special. And there is actually a very specific way that I remember what moves are physical and special, which is, I remember special type moves by all the evolutions minus Umbreon are special type. That is how I remember them. It's it's a little technique I've used over the years that kind of helps me remember because it doesn't inherently come to you, but... And then there are like weird ones that are like special or physical, like for example Dark and Ghost are physical even though most of their Pokemon are special attackers, which is kind of weird. Um, and then you've got, like, Dragon being special, despite the fact that, like, Dragonite's got the most insane physical attack in the entire fucking first gen. It's like, here's your fucking insane attack stat, you're not gonna ever be able to take advantage of it, but, you know, whatever. So that's Brock done. Hey, okay, we get the power moves now. Okay, so I want Poison Powder, and I want, uh... I think Sleep Powder, and I think I'll, I won't bother with, uh... Yeah, I don't think I'll bother with the Paralyzed pow Powder. I don't remember what it's called. It might even be called Paralyzed Powder. Uh, right. Let's get rid of Tackle. I could get rid of Leech Seed, but I feel like Leech Seed is actually really good for a Nuzlocke, so I won't bother. Oh, it doesn't actually learn. It's Stun Powder, I'm thinking of. It's not Paralyzed Powder. Genius. So now the cap is, I believe, 21 for Misty. I'm pretty confident it's 21. 21? He also gives me Rock Tomb, which I'm gonna hand Mankey. Actually, I might hold on to it, because I think Mankey, uh... Nah, it, I might as well. It's not gonna learn any or Rock-type move through level up, as far as I'm aware, so I might as well just hand it Rock Tomb. Okay, so... Uh, TM case... Rock Tomb... And if anyone's wondering why I'm not using the uh, unlimited Pokeballs code, the simple reason is that it's kind of unfair. Because, like, if I use that, then I never really have to worry about money and I can just spend money on TMs forever, which would be really, really stupid. Um, but with, like, rare candies, it's just to prevent us grinding, because that would just be so much fucking time wasted, it's not even funny. Well, now we get the running shoes, so life becomes a lot better. Thankfully, I, I'm really, really tired of run, like walking around with my sad little stubby legs. Yeah, there we go. I, I was like, there's an item here somewhere. And nowhere specifically. Okay, so let's go and let's do the entirety of the, uh, the path toward Mount Moon. Then next video we'll do Mount Moon. And like a bunch of other stuff. 
No, I don't want that game. I want repels. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'll top myself up with two Pokeballs, get myself to an even 20, and then we'll spend the rest on repels, because fuck that noise. Oh good, I can buy a whole three of them. I think we'll probably trudge back here then after we fight all the trainers on the next route. So, there's a couple things I would like from this route potentially, because I believe Spiro's on this route also. It would be awesome to catch a Nidoran. Either Nidoran will do, but I would prefer Nidoran male. Yes, I know. Get out of here. Yes, I know. I know there's a way to skip that guy, apparently, but... Okay, so... This girl... Uh, let's use Mankey for that. I'm also going to evolve both uh, Pidgey and Bulbasaur while I'm at it, because that would be really stupid not to. They're like one and two levels away from evolving, might as well evolve them. Get this out of the way, get the stat boost from evolving. My Bulbasaur is bright, he is a bright boy. My Bulb is sore. There we go. Hey look, it's the only mid-tier evolution I actually like. Well, from Gen 1. You know, I just realized I should probably do my uh, Gen 2 tier list soon. I just realized I haven't done that. And I really should. I haven't actually done that. It just like hit me. I'm just like, oh yeah, I haven't done the Gen 2 tier list. Uh, let's just let's just get like Beedrill up a couple levels. Focus energy. No, there's no point. There's literally no point in wasting that. I don't even think it can learn any like moves that would have increased uh, crit anyway. Uh, let's just get everything up to 16. I'm thinking because I just don't wanna don't wanna deal with this. I don't want to get too high, because if I get too high, I might end up over the, uh, over the limit. Uh, what can I get? I can get rid of Scratch for Fury Swipes. Fury Swipes is surprisingly good, I've found. It's not great, obviously, and there's better moves. But I've found that, like, it's not, it's not awful. Okay, so let me just look over the stats here. So, 34, uh, attack. I wouldn't say strength, I've been playing too much Fire Emblem lately. Uh, 34 attack, 30 speed. 27 speed, but I mean it's not evolved yet. What level does this evolve X? I could have sworn it was 16, maybe it's 18. Uh God, that special attack stat would be so much higher if it wasn't fucking uh if it wasn't jolly nature. 36 weight. It actually has more attack than my Nike. That's kinda nice. Does that have more speed too? And it does actually, it has three more speed. That's not terrible. I almost wonder with its steed, uh, speed stat being as high as it is, if it actually has uh, maxed IVs. Or, e you know, is it EVs? Or, yeah, EVs are effort points, so no, it's IVs. Again, it's been a long time since I've played Pokemon. Especially on, like, any sort of real, like, competitive level. I know, like, obviously this isn't, like, competitive air quotes, but, I mean, Nuzlocke might as well be for the amount of skill that goes into it. The amount of knowledge and skill that you have to actually produce to actually play this is... It doesn't show up now, because right now it's just literally having your animals fucking punch each other in the face until one of them dies, but later on there's gonna be a lot of strategy involved. Especially once we get to, like, the tougher gyms. Koga's gonna be a pain in the ass if I can't get a good Psychic type. Or a Ground type actually could do the job, but Psychic would be preferred. Honestly, I'm trying to think, like, what the best thing to catch would be. Abra would be great if I actually can catch it, but... God damn it. I'm lowering my... Oh, shit. Oh, get out of there. Get out of there. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. So much no. Well, you're the only thing on my team that isn't weak to flying. <laughs> How did I get to this point? How did I get to the point where my Pokemon are all weak to flying type? Holy shit. Like, the worst... One of the worst types in the game, and I'm weak to it. Unbelievable. You're mean. You're- I'm not mean, you're mean. You're the one who fucking threw sand in my Mankey's eyes. Dick. I have potion up. Uh, I think we'll fight the bug catcher with, uh, with placeholder. <laughs> I love that I named it placeholder. So mean. So mean-spirited. Uh, poor Pidgey. It's not Pidgey's fault that he's the worst flying type in Gen 1. Alright. Let's beat this bug catcher. 
Hey, I saw you in Viridian Forest. No, you didn't. That's a lie. I've never seen you before in my life. Get out of here. Colton. You're fucking Caterpie. I'ma kill it. I'ma kill it and I'm gonna kill your hopes and dreams. It's gonna be hilarious. So, as far as I'm aware with Gen 1 slash 3, the biggest problem I'm going to have is I don't know if Aerial Ace actually exists in this generation, so I think the best flying type move I might have access to is Wing Attack, unfortunately. Which kind of sucks, because unfortunately, a lot of the good flying type moves weren't invented till Gen 4 onward, which kind of sucks, because I'm pretty sure Aerial Ace doesn't exist till Gen 4. Uh, Hurricane, I don't think exists till Gen 5 or 6. Like, you're kind of stuck with a lot of really shitty moves in Gen, like, Three. It's kind of amazing they kind of forgot some Pokemon types. Like, legitimately, it's like Dark, Bug, and uh, Flying really don't have any moves. Which kind of sucks. Also, Ghost types don't have a lot of moves either. Although, honestly, the big problem with, like, Ghost types is just that they're stuck with physical attacks. And they're all kind of special attackers. I mean, Mischievous isn't, but are you really using Mischievous, you know? I mean, the biggest problem with, like, the likes of Gengar or, like, Haunter is just the fact that you have to deal with, uh, it having no stab. Uh, let's Rock Tomb you. Just throw rocks at her snake, it's all good, or his snake. I can't remember if I'm fighting a lass or a youngster. Oh, you son of a bitch. Well, at least it's not Gen 1 rap. I yeah, hurt every turn, I can't retreat, but I'm gonna throw a, uh... Just throw out a fucking Fury Swipes. Never mind, it didn't kill. Fuck. Please don't poison me. Okay, good. So, there is one Pokemon this route that I'm very, very afraid of. And that is a certain Spearow that's on this route. Because not only is it a Spearow, which is always, always kind of concerning. Because Spearow is kind of good. This guy down here has it. Um, it is level 14 for some reason. I don't know why, it is just super high leveled, so that's a little scary, but we can hopefully deal with it. Hopefully. I don't know, I, I don't really have a lot to do with something like that. Like, I do have Rock Tomb, but it's inaccurate, and on top of that, Mankey is not, uh... Mankey is very, very weak to flying, so that's... that's not great. I might even have to actually fight him with Placeholder, I'm thinking, because Placeholder's... Placeholder is at least equipped to deal fix, it's not weak to it. You know, I kinda shit on Pidgey, but Pidgey's actually been kind of like the MVP because of type disadvantage. Um, so, we do have an easy out against uh, Misty because we have Bulbasaur, and hopefully we catch something good on the route above. I'm hoping for Abra and that doesn't just fuck off immediately. So that's always the terrifying thing with Abra, they could just teleport away and then you don't get anything for that route, but... I know some people use Abra Claws, but it's like, I still ran into it, and I tried to catch it, so I think it should still count even if I don't get it. That's always been my opinion on that. Um, okay, I think, yeah, we can go down, we can fight this guy. Orenberry. Alright folks, remember, if one of my Pokémon dies, this Orenberry was to blame. Hey, you're not wearing shorts, what's wrong with you? Is this the shorts guy who says the meme line that everyone fucking quotes constantly? I've learned to hate that meme. Mostly because people quote it constantly. Although I feel like I'm, I'm just as guilty of doing that now that I think about it, because I'm just thinking of like all the times I've referenced I hate sand, the John Cena meme, and fucking train go boom. Between those three memes, I feel like I can't say anything. Quick attack, dead. Okay, that's... That could have been scary. That that Spiro is not... He is not to be taken lightly. Alright. Uh, so I think I'm gonna go back, heal, buy some... Uh, then again, we should probably deal with the other uh, bug catcher. Oh, I, yeah, right. This one. Not that one. Durr. I'll bail you with the Pokemon you just caught! Yeah! This guy with, like, the fucking two Caterpie... You didn't just catch those. They're not in this area. You caught those in Viridian Forest. Why would you lie to me? Why would you lie like that? Stop that. Okay, there we go. So, we are getting close to the end of the video. 
I'd say there's probably like another five minutes left on it, but I, uh, I'm gonna have to go back to the Pokemon Center and Pokemart after this because this is not, this is not ideal. There we go. So I think it might evolve now. Question mark. We'll see. Let's see. Let's see if we actually can evolve our boy. Well, our girl. There, there we go. We get Pidgeotto. We get bigger burb. It's slightly bigger burb. I feel like the evolution sequence takes too long in this game, but it's fine. There we go, we got burb. Fantastic. Okay, let's see how much the stats improved. Uh not much. <laughs> Yeah, that is unfortunately the problem with the Pidgey line, is the uh, the stats never really go up. Unfortunately, the problem with the Pidgey line is the bases are not great. That's like the big issue. Pidgey line bases are kind of terrible. Like, low-key. I don't hate Pidgey. I, I feel like I'm, I'm talking very negatively about the Pidgey line in general. I actually quite like the Pidgey line, except Pidgeot. I think Pidgeot's kind of lazy, but... I like Pidgeotto, I like Pidgey. They're perfectly fine, but unfortunately their entire evolution line kind of has shit stats. And they made a lot of improvements to it later, like in later gens, but yeah, currently not great. Okay, there we go. Got all of those trainers and I only have enough for three more fucking repels. Let me see what I can sell. Wait, can I sell the rare candies? I can sell the rare candies, but I'm not doing it because I'd be cheating. Uh... I could sell them though. I could sell them for a fucking hilarious amount of money that would just do me for the rest of the game, but let's not do that. Because, again, that's very, very cheaty. Look, we bought. No, we cheated those rare candies in just to fucking power grind. We're not doing it for any other reason. That would be obnoxious. Okay. That look you gave me, it's so intriguing. I am literally staring at a wall. I am not looking at you. Just. No. Well, that thing's dead. <laughs> Monkey. Karate Choppo! Oh, Karate Choppo! He dead. Nice. Nitto ran female. I'm gonna swipe the shit out of it. Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. Poison point. I love how it has poison point, even though, like, unlike Nitto ran male, it doesn't have a horn on its head. Like, why? Why does it have Poison Point? Why not give it a different ability altogether? I mean, it's kind of as a different Pokemon. You might as well give it a different ability. Okay, I have to fucking use the po the not potion. Oh, I don't have a I don't have an antidote. Did I use it? God damn it! Okay, let's go back. Hopefully, I'll live on the way back. Otherwise, I'm gonna lose my first Pokemon to Poison of all things. Ugh. How close to dead was it? Oh, it's still at plenty of health, okay. We're fine. We're a lot we're a lot better off than I thought we were. I was kinda scared there. So I think we should whip out Bulbasaur for the uh for the capture, but I'm gonna go fight that last lass with my uh Mankey. Alright, let's do this. We are almost done the route, which means we are almost done the video. Kind of worried this video would go on a little longer. Let's just wait for it to turn around. Eek, did you touch me? Bitch, I was like four feet away from you. The fuck you want about these lasses have the weirdest goddamn dialogue. P Jiggles! Okay, screw Nidoran Mail, I want a P Jiggles. Let me have a P Jiggles. I need it. I need P Jiggles. I need it in my life. Best Pokemon. Best Pokemon confirmed. Look, we all saw the tier list. We know how I feel about Jigglypuff. S tier Mon. That's it? Yes, that's it. You only had one Pokemon, Dunce. Alright, let's see what our encounter for the route is. Memes aside, I would like a Nidoran male, but I, I would take a Jigglypuff. I like Jigglypuff. Let's see what it gets. Well, you don't count for anything. Luckily, we have Dupe's Claws. Controller and ASMR, yeah! Okay, that's not a bad encounter. I would prefer Nidoran male, but I mean, that's not bad at all. Sleep powder. 
Do I risk the Vine Whip? Because I'm 10 levels higher, but it is resistant. I'm just going to throw a ball at it. I don't... I don't trust it. I actually don't trust it. I'm worried I'm going to kill it. We got him. Alright. And it's another female Pokemon. I am actually starting to think I may have glitched the game with my rare candies. And now every Pokemon is female. Alright. Alright. I know what I'm naming this thing. In honor... Of the great, the great Blackout champion that he is. I know he doesn't play Blackout anymore, but I used to watch Spiros videos all the fucking time. Like, constantly. Back when, like, Blackout was the thing. God, I miss Blackout. I'm gonna start doing, uh, I should talk about this. I'm gonna start doing stuff for Black Ops 4 soon for the channel. It's been something that's been planned, but I haven't actually done. And, uh... It's something I intend to do, which is I'm going to be doing a Mastery Camo grind for both multiplayer and zombies. And Blackout too, but I wouldn't consider it really a grind because it's just picking up paint cans. And I'm going to be doing a, uh... I'm going to be doing, like, a Maximum Prestige series, which I regret doing already before it's even started. But I gotta do it, man. Alright, so I think we're going to call it a video. And next video we're going to do Mount Moon and Misty.